This is Code.org, and I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson Program Design Process. Let's see. Functions with parameters. Most of the existing functions you use in App Lab need inputs or parameters to pass the functions, the function necessary information. Yes, that's when we use like a variable inside the function call. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. For example, when changing a screen, you pass the ID of that screen as a parameter, which looks like set screen win. So win would be the parameter here, and we use that ID to get the screen. These parameters show up a show up as a variable that can be used inside the function, and you can create functions that use parameters too. Perfect. Uh, and this is really important to programmers. Do this. Instead of separate functions to move red and blue players, we've created one function called move player that takes the ID of the player's image as a parameter called player. Inside this function, you can use player any place where you need to specify the ID of the player you want to control. Find where the move player is defined. Okay, show me. Ah, so here's the function they created for us. Move player, I C. And their parameter is player, okay. Any place you want inside the find player definition, get the current Y property of the player and save it to in it to a variable called player Y. Okay, so they already named this variable player Y, and so we want to get the current Y property of a player. So to do that, we want to get a property. And then what do we want to get? Oh, we don't know the ID, remember? So the ID isn't going to be anything other than player. Because when we use this function, when we say move player somewhere, where this player is, is going to be like blue in quotes. So then what the computer will do is say, oh, I need to run some function move player. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable player Y, and that's going to be equal to get player Player, what's player? Oh, well, what's this? Player, oh, well, what was pass? Oh, the word blue. So get the ID blue and get the width. Nope, we would want the Y of that player. Increase the value of player Y by 10. Okay, so once we get it, we want to do, we want to use our new variable, player underscore Y, and have it equal to what it is equal to, player underscore y. We want it to still be equal to that, but we just want to add 10 to it now, I think. Once you've added this code, test it. You should see both buttons work, even though we've only created one function. Cool. Huh. Let me, I want a space here. So we must call this function somewhere, and we have red and blue players in it. Oh. Set property, nope. Check move player blue. So when it calls move player blue, right? When we hit the right button, this function runs move player blue. Oh, well, what's that? Uh, oh, here it is. And the computer runs this function, except everywhere it says player, it now thinks the word blue. So move player and then the word blue. Player underscore y equals set property of the blue player y or get the property. So I'm going to get wherever the blue player currently is at and assign that to player Y. I am then going to take that variable and add 10 to it. All right, let's see if we got it all. Who knows? Play. Oh, this is not good. Oh, we need to set it. I skipped that step. That would make sense. Now, set the players. Okay. So now I need to set it because otherwise it never knows that anything has changed. We just change our variable by 10. Okay. So I need to set the property player. And then what would the property be that I'm setting? It's still going to be Y. 
And what am I going to set it to? My variable here, player underscore y. All right, let's try this now. But uh, race, race. That is super cool. Awesome. I wonder what we're going to be doing next. So that's a bit tricky, especially with like the set property. I almost forgot that part of it. I'm going to get rid of this extra stuff. But yeah, functions are really powerful and parameters are, well, really useful. Let's uh keep going.